Introduction Look at these objects. Letters, newspapers, radio, telephones, televisions, fax, mobile phone and internet. All these help us to connect to each other. These are means of communication. Let us learn more about communication. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to List the different means of communication Explain the journey of a letter Know about the modern means of communication You must have used a paper and pen to write a letter. We use letters to exchange information with people anywhere in the world. Letters are of different types. Postcards, inland letters and envelopes are the most common. Have you heard about a telegram? It is a type of letter that contains short messages and reaches faster than a letter. Do you know who he is? Yes, he is the postman. He brings our letters, envelopes and parcels. Let us learn how he delivers a letter. After you finish writing the letter, you write name and address of the person to whom it is to be delivered on the top. In case of an envelope, you need to paste postage stamp of correct amount. You then drop the letter in a letter box from where the postman collects all the mails and takes it to the post office. This is a post office. Here all the letters are sorted and packed in bags according to the place they are to be delivered. Train, bus or airways then take the separate bags of letters to their destined places. After reaching the destination main post office, the letters are separated as per the area mentioned in the address. Each postman then takes these letters to the right person. Thus, a letter travels a long distance and takes a journey of five to six days before reaching us. Hello kids, you have learned the travel story of a letter. Helped him arrange the stages through which letters reach us. Drag and drop the images into the numbered boxes to complete the sequence of the journey of a letter. For example, dropping a letter into the letter box is the first step. So we will drag and drop the second image into box number one. This is a newspaper. It is one of the cheapest means of communication. Newspaper gives information about the world in the form of text and pictures printed on a paper. Newspaper is printed in many languages. Friends, let us learn some more means of communication now. Some people do not enjoy reading news. They can hear news using radio. A radio helps us in hearing news and listening to various songs. Television helps us both to see and to hear what is happening far away. In our homes, we can watch films, educational events, sports and news on television. Rick is talking with his friend Sam. He's using a telephone. Telephones help in exchanging messages through the telephonic wires. We can talk to any person at any place using telephones. We all know that mobile phones have replaced the telephone. A mobile phone can be carried everywhere. It is more useful than a telephone. Fax is a written or typed message sent immediately to a person at a distance from us through fax machine. Fax machine operates using telephone line. 
Today is the generation of computers and internet. Email is a method of sending typed messages using computers and internet. These help to transfer the messages within few seconds with a click of mouse. Summary Now friends, let us summarize what we have learnt. The different means of communication are letter, newspaper, radio, television, telephones, mobile phone, fax, computers and internet. A letter takes up a journey of 5 to 6 days before reaching us. Newspaper brings news in the form of text and pictures printed on a paper. A radio helps us in hearing news and listening to various songs. Television helps us both to see and to hear. Fax and email are the modern means of communication.